A eh, what's up mga beasts? So, example number 2 na tayo sa ating sheer stress in beeps. Let's go! Okay, so ito yung cross-section niya mga beasts, no? Kung makita nyo, butas yung gitna, it's a hollow. Alright, so here's the problem mga beasts. Sabi dito, the vertical shear force acting on the cross-section shown is 1,800 pounds. Hindi naman nasabi kung saan location yan sa ating beam. Basta sabi, at this certain cross-section, let's say, dito yan, sa part na yan, ang value daw ng shear force dito sa section na ito is 1,800 pounds. So that's our V, right? Sa ating formula. Then continue. Determine the shear stress at the first A neutral axis in B in 4 inches above the neutral axis. Okay, so... First, neutral axis, since alam natin na symmetrical yan, then sa center yung neutral axis niyan. Exactly dito, which is, since 10 yung buong ito, then this will be 5 inches, I think. Yeah, okay. Or 5 inches from the top or from the bottom, it's the same. And then 4 inches above the neutral axis, dito yan. And dito na yan kasi, since 5 to, di ba, yung buong ito kasi is 10. And then yung inner... Uh, Length niya kasi dito is 8. So, 10 minus 8 is 2. So, yung 2 inches na yung na-distribute dito, 1 inch yan, and ito 1 inch rin yan. Okay? So, kaya naging 10 yung buong. Uh, 4, tapos plus 4, 8. Yun, ito yung 8, tapos 9, 10. Kaya 10 yung buong ito. Okay? So, start na natin solve. First, dito sa ating A at the neutral axis. Okay? So, okay so para simulan niya isusulat ko muna yung ating formula. Important yun para malaman natin kung ano na yung meron tayo or ano, ano pa yung kailangan natin solve. So, tau is equal to VQ over IB. Okay, so this tau is the shear stress we are finding. Next, V. Itong V na to mga bis given na yan, di ba? 1,800 pounds. So, no problem. Next is Q. We don't know Q or the first moment area. So, we need to solve for that. Okay, so simulan natin. Yung gagawin ko mga bis, kukunin ko yung first moment area ng buong ito. Tapos, isusubtract ko na lang yung first moment area ng hollow na to. Okay? So, yung buong ito would be equal to ito mga bis yan. Yung buong ito since 10, 10, <laughs> 10 inches yung buong ito. Then, kalahati yan. Ito, 5, di ba? Tapos, yung buong ito, that's 8 inches. Okay? So, that's 5 times 8. 5 times 8 times... Ano yung uh, location ng centroid ng buong figure na to papunta sa ating neutral axis? So, Ang centroid yan, mga bis, is located dito, di ba? So, ano yung location nito papunta sa ating neutral axis? That's gonna be 2.5 kasi kalahati lang ng 5, eh. Electric tanggal yan, okay? So, times 2.5, okay? Tapos, yung next na gagawin natin is isusubtract natin yung first moment area ng hollow na to. Kasi yung kukunin lang naman natin, mga bis, is yung first moment area ng ating beam, yung ito lang. Eh, ito, empty space yan, eh. So, we need to subtract that. So, minus... Uh, next, yung hollow na to, that's 6 times 4. Bakit 4? Kasi from dito, yan, 8 inches yung buong ito, ba? Pero natin sa dalawa, so magiging 4 inches yan. So that's gonna be 4 times 6. Okay. Next, mga bis, no? I kailangan natin i-multiply yung location ng centroid ng figure na to papunta sa ating neutral axis. And since rectangle lang yan, this is 4 divided by 2. We know that this is 2 inches. Okay? So, times 2. So, Q is therefore equal to, pwede na natin yung isolve. 52. Ano yung unit natin? That's gonna be inches to the third power kasi inches, inches, inches. Okay? Okay, so ang ating first moment area at the neutral axis is 52 inches cube. Okay? Pero remember mga bis, no, there are a lot of ways how to how we can get this 52 inches cube. Pwede nyo rin kunin yung ito, isang part to. Tapos isang part rin to. Tapos isang part rin to. Then just add the first moment area of these three figures. Okay? So, uh, there are a lot of ways how to do that. Okay? So, itong Q, okay na yan. Okay, next is I or the centroidal moment of inertia. Hindi rin natin yan alam. So, we need to solve for that. So, how do we solve for that? So, basically, reference ulit natin is yung ating neutral axis, right? So, that's I with, at the neutral axis. Ito rin, Q at the neutral axis. Q at the neutral axis, yan. Okay, so gagamitin ko yung technique na ginawa ko rin dito sa ating first moment area. Kaso nga lang dito, yung buo na, di ba? Kasi nga, centroidal moment of inertia, mga bis. Kapag uh, first moment area lang, is either yung above that reference line or below that reference line. Pero kapag centroidal moment of inertia, consider mo yung buo, okay? So para gawin yon, I will uh, get the centroidal moment of inertia of this whole rectangle and then subtract that to this hollow Part, okay? So, dito sa loob. So, I big 
minus i small. Ito yung i big tapos yung i small. Pero take note mga bisno, there are a lot of methods how you can get your centroidal moment of inertia. So this is just one of them, okay? So simulan natin sa IB, that's basically base times height cube over 12 minus base times height cube over 12. Kasi rectangle naman eh. Simulan natin dito sa big. Sa ating big, ang base niya is 8. Ang height niya is 10. So 8 times 10 cube over 12 minus yung base ng ating maliit na rectangle kasi I small. That's gonna be 6, right? 6 times ang height niya ito ay 8. 8 cube. Divided by 12. Ayan. So, compute na lang natin yan mga bis. No? So, ang sagot natin mga bis ay 410.67 ang unit natin ay inches to the fourth power. Okay? So, yan na yung value ng ating centroidal moment of inertia. Ay. Next, B. B is the cut section. So, since yung hinahanap natin sa neutral axis, ito yan. Ano yung length nito plus yung length nito kasi ito yung cut section natin. Eh. So, that's 1 inches, right? 1 inch para kasi singular. Tama ba? 1 <laughs> inch, yan. 1 inch rin yan. So, 1 inch plus 1 inch is 2 inches. So, okay na tayo sa ating B. Therefore, masasolve na natin yung ating problem. Okay? So, ngayon, let's just substitute values, right? So, V given yan, 1,800 pounds. Ang Q ko ay 52 inches to the third power. Tapos, ang I ko would be equal to 410.67 inches to the fourth. And then, yung aking B. Ito. B is the cut section nga. Width of the cut section. That's 1 inch plus 1 inch would be equal to 2 inches. Yun. So, kung makikita nyo mga, mga bis, no, yung unit natin, magka-cancel yung inches cube. Tsaka dito, yung matitinan lang mga bis is pounds per inches squared. Okay? So, calculate na lang natin yan. Or PSI. Nga pala, pounds per square inch. Our answer, mga bis, is equal sa 113.96 PSI. Okay? So, ayan. This is our shear stress. Ito po yung value ng ating shear stress at the neutral axis. Uh, shear stress at the neutral axis. Okay, so yung next na hinahanap natin, mga bis, is 4 inches above the neutral axis. So, di ba ito yung neutral axis natin? Kapag aakyat tayo ng 4 inches above that, dito tayo mapupunta. Uh, let's name that AA Okay, so parang cut section AA Parehas rin lang, 4 inches above the neutral axis Okay, so let's start to analyze it We will solve for the shear stress At the cut section AA Or 4 inches above the neutral axis That's the same So same formula, VQ over IB So analyze ulit natin kung ano na yung meron tayo First, itong V Given na yan, diba? Meron na tayo nyan And next mga B, sa Q na tayo or the first moment area. Kasi alam natin na nag-iiba yan at different levels. Iba yung Q dito, dyan, dito, dyan. Mag-iiba yan mga B. Okay? So, paano natin masosolve yung ating Q? Para masolve yan, pamili tayo sa taas ba ng reference line na to or sa baba. Saan ba yung mas madali? Di ba yung sa taas lang? Kasi ito lang na party. Kasi kapag sa baba ka pa, meron to, meron to, meron to. So, mas komplikado yan. Pero take note mga bis, no? parehas lang yung ibibigay niyang sagot sa inyo. You will still get the same uh, first moment area. Yun nga lang, mas mapapadali tayo kapag piliin natin yung nasa taas, di ba? So, we just need to get the area of this. Alam natin na ang width niyan ay 1 inch, tapos yung buong ito ay 8 inches. So, that's 8 inch times 1 inch, kasi area 8 times 1. Tapos yung location ng centroid na to, centroid ng figure na to, papunta sa ating neutral axis in alam natin that, that the neutral axis lies on this plane right dito yan so ang location ng ating uh, centroid papunta sa dito sa AA is uh, 0.5 right kasi rectangle lang yan and 1 inch yung buong ito so kalahati is 0.5 then papunta dito sa ating neutral axis is 4 so 4 plus 0.5 is 4.5 so yun yung i-multiply natin dito okay So, yan. Calculator na lang natin. 8 times 4.5 is 36. 36 inches to the third power. Okay, so, kung mapapansin nyo mga bis, no, let's do a little bit comparison. No? Ano yung value ng Q sa neutral axis, di ba? Ang value ng Q sa ating neutral axis is 52. Pero, nung in-adjust natin yung Q natin, just uh, 4 inches above dito sa part na to, bumaba siya. Naging 36 inches cube. That is because, mga bis, no, accordingly sa ating Q ring, sabi natin, Q max always lies at the neutral axis. 
So itong 50, 53, 52 inches cube natin mga bis, no? this is our maximum uh, Q or the first moment error because it lies dito nga sa ating neutral axis. So this is really expected. Okay? So okay na yung Q. Yung ating I mga bis, okay na rin yan. Itong ating I, hindi yan nagbabago kahit ilipat-lipat mo yung reference light na yan. Okay? So same na rin, na-solve natin yun, no? 410.67. Okay, next, itong B naman or the width of the cut section, kung makikita natin, may konting conflict, mga bubuyog, di ba? Kasi ang location niyan is exactly dito sa intersection. So, minsan napapatanong ako nung sinosol ko to, i-include ko ba ito, right? Kasi kapag may putol dito, matatamaan ba yung ito or ito lang, yung dalawang ito lang, di ba? Kasi eksaktong-eksaktong sa gitna kasi nito eh. So, I'm not sure if I will include this portion na to until I did some uh, readings, no? I did some research and I saw, and, and I saw no? Na magkakaroon ng dalawang values pala ng B. Okay? So, dalawa yung values ng B. First is yung buong ito. Yan. Yan. So, include natin yung length nito, then length nito, and then length yan. And then second is yung ito lang. Okay? So, yung dalawang ito lang. Kaya, sa shear stress diagram yan, mga bis, no, magkakaroon ng parang jump ng ating shear stress kasi dalawa na yung value. At one point, at one point, magkakaroon ng dalawang value ng shear stress. There's a jump, right? So, parang yung magiging itsura dyan, ganun. So, adito, yung shear stress value na to magja-jump yan papunta dito. Bakit, mga bis? Kasi nga, dalawa yung values natin sa B. So, dalawa, yung, dalawa din yung magiging values natin sa ating shear stress. So, first, mga bis, is itong ating buong length na to. Ito yung magiging value ng ating B. Okay? So, this will yield a lesser value of our shear stress. Kasi, di ba, meron tayong dalawa ng, dalawang value ng B. Ang first na B1 natin is ito. That's 8 inches. And then, yung second is yung ito lang. Yung part lang na to. That's, that's 1 inch plus 1 inch. B is equal to 2 inches. Kapag gagamitin natin yung 8 inches, we expect a lesser shear stress. Bakit? Kasi kung makikita nyo sa ating formula, shear stress and uh, B or the cut section is inversely proportional with one another. So habang lumalaki yung B, lumiliit yung shear stress. Kaya yung value na to, this value of shear in our shear stress distribution, itong maliit na to, this will be the value from the 8 inches uh, B or cut section. However, itong malaki na portion na to, that will be the value from our B which is 2 inches. Okay, so let's try to solve both para makita niyo yung pagkakaiba niya. So first, T is equal to, ito, substitute na lang natin, given yan, di ba? 1,800, tapos Q natin is 36. So I'm not putting the units anymore kasi I'm sure naman na PSI din yung kalalabasan niya. And then next is I. Yung I given na rin yan. Na-solve natin na yan kanina. And then, we have, first, our first B is 8 inches, right? So, kapag gagamit tayo ng 8, tignan natin yung magiging answer natin. That's 1,800 times 36 divided by 2, 410.67 times 8. We will have 19.72 PSI. So, if gagamitin natin yung 2, of course, we expect a larger answer, right? So, T is equal to, save lang din, 1,836, uh, 410.67 times 2. We will have an answer of 78.89 PSI. Okay, so the shear stress distribution of this portion will look something like that. Yan, so diba dito? Tataas yan. Tapos at this point, ito. Ito yung portion na ito yung 19.72. Tapos bigla yung mag-akyat. At the same point, no? Akyat yan papuntang 78.89 PSI. And then yan, pataas yun ang pataas. Papunta sa ating neutral axis. Kasi at this section, no? Our maximum shear stress occurs at our, our neutral axis. Yan yung, ano yung sinol ulit natin? Ayan, 113.96 PSI, mga bis. Pero mostly, mga bis, no? Ito yung kinoconsider yung maximum value at this point. Kasi diba, dalawa nga yung value ng shear stress natin. It's either 19 or 78. Pero syempre, if you're solving, you consider the maximum at that point. Because uh, you are considering its uh, its capacity. Oh, okay, so here are our final answers, right?
A is 114 PSI, B is 78.9. Ayan, 114 ni round of lang and 78.9 na round of lang rin. Okay, so that's it mga bis, no? Uh, new learning dito sa ating uh, problem na to. Possible at connections or intersections magkakaroon ng dalawang values ng shear stress. Bakit? Kasi magkakaroon ka rin ng dalawang values ng B, right? Kasi hindi ka sure, eh. Aling cross section ba yun? Ito or ito? Pero yun nga, sabi ko, yung consider is yung largest of the two shear stress that you will be solving, which is ito. Okay, so that's it mga bis. Maraming salamat kung nag-stay kang dito sa dulo. If you have some questions or clarifications, kindly comment down below. At susubukan po natin yung sagutan kapag meron pa tayong time. So this is mga bis, please like, share, and subscribe. Muli ako yung bubuyong yung nagpapala sa inyo. Maglak pa yung bagay yung maglaro na liksik. Maging matinik. Jabi out. Thank you.